The small Balkan nation of Serbia has the world's seventh highest COVID-19 vaccination rate. Which vaccine did you pick? Oh, Kinesk. Why did you pick the Chinese one? I've taken the Russian medicine, and it was very good. People here even have the luxury of choosing which vaccine they get. China's Sinopharm vaccine has been the most popular choice. Russia Sputnik V, the second. Why did you pick the Russian one? Uh, that was first available at the moment, and I think that. No. But you trust the Russian vaccine? Of course. Of course. <laughs> because we're Orthodox. The same. So you same trust event. Russia because you're both Orthodox? A little bit more. Vaccines are just the latest way geopolitical players are trying to gain influence in Serbia, which is strategically located for Russia, China, and the EU. But while Russia, China, and private pharma companies quickly delivered on their deals here, the EU's COVAX program hasn't pulled through yet. The winning hearts and minds through vaccine diplomacy faces a major hurdle, misinformation. Half of all Serbians believe the pharmaceutical industry is behind the COVID-19 pandemic. A third think the U.S. developed it as a bioweapon. And a third believe Bill Gates is using vaccines to insert microchips into people. Unsurprisingly, 50% say they probably or definitely won't get vaccinated at all. Mima Miladinovic chose to get vaccinated. She's 70 and has heart disease and went with Sinopharm. Her daughter opted for Sputnik V. After Corona crisis, nothing will be the same. That's what Bill Gates said. No. Yeah. Do you trust him? Da li mu veruješ? No. No. Tražimo sad izraelski dokumentarac. Da. E, lovo. Ah. Found it. So what is he saying? Priča o da je Nemačka već 2012. znajući da uopšte znalo se o virusima, znalo se i o koroni. Svi polaze od toga da vam govore neku istinu. U toj istini koju oni govore, neka je 15% stvarno istina. Da je to već nešto što ja treba da ogledam. But how do you know which 15% is true? Neki deo toga sam i ja doživala za ovih mojih 70 godina života. Znači, životno iskustvo. COVID misinformation has flourished in Serbia with help from the government. It dramatically underreported the number of COVID cases and deaths ahead of elections and put a doctor who makes misleading statements about the virus on its crisis staff. Serbians looking for balanced reporting can't always trust the media either. Seven of the eight top performing media companies here get state funding and are run by allies of President Aleksandr Vucic. The outlets that do thrive tend to fall in line with the government. Many don't have qualms about expressing open support for Russia and China. You got the Chinese vaccine. Yes, your vaccine from the People Republic of China. Thank you very much. The Informer is Serbia's most popular tabloid. Their issues that come with free calendars featuring Vladimir Putin are bestsellers. So because the people love Putin, you give them Putin. Yes. Dragan Vucicevic is the founder, owner, and editor-in-chief. Is it accurate to say that most of the media in Serbia are pro-Russia or even pro-China rather than pro-Western? Nismo mi ni pro-ruski, ni pro-kineski, ni pro-zapadni, mi smo pro-srpski mediji, zaista. Ali vidite, kada nama 
kada su počeli, kada je počela pandemija. Od Evropske unije smo dobili nula svega, nula respiratora, nula maski, nula bilo kog drugo, bilo koje druge pomoći. A od Kineza smo dobili, platili, nismo dobili besplatno. Dakle, skoro dva miliona vakcina. Dakle, naravno je da to treba da pohvalim. Šta je dezinformacija? Dezinformacija da su nam prijatelji Kinezi pomogli, valjda je to informacija, ne dezinformacija. Smo mi slagali nešto. Je li zabranjeno u demokratskom zapadnom svetu zahvaliti se nekome? What is your or the informer's relationship with President Vučić or the government? U poslovnom smislu nema nikakve veze. Ja predsjednika Vučića privatno poznajem više od 20 godina. Mi se poznajemo, a da li sarađujemo poslovno, ne. Niti on ima ikakve uređivački uticaj na informer. It's not just hard for independent outlets to survive. For reporters who criticize the government, like some members of the Independent Journalist Association of Serbia, doing their job can be dangerous. What do you think that we would be able to take the side of the government? I think that we would be able to take the side of the government. Yes, I think that we would be able to take the side of the government. In 2019, there were 119 attacks on members of the press. Only 10% of these cases have been prosecuted. Has the situation always been this bad in Serbia? Ni jedna vlast ne voli slobodne medije. To je to je sigurno, ali. Sa aspekta neko ko je 20 godina u medijima u Srbiji, ko je vrlo, ko se usto bavi političkim novinarstvom, mislim da nikada nije bilo gore. Ana Lalić was arrested for causing panic and unrest after reporting on a local hospital running out of protective equipment. A few days before, the government had issued a decree that only its pandemic crisis team could release COVID-related information. In April will be a year since your arrest. Yes, yes, yes. How has the arrest continued to affect your life now? Ja sam mesecima bila izložena najbrutalnijim pretnjama i uvredama na društvenim mrežama. Ali sam doživjela i to da mi je nakon mesec dana neko ušao u dvorište gdje je bio parkiran moj automobil i isečene su mi gume. Demonstracija da znaju gdje živim i da sljedeće što može da mi se desi je mnogo gore od isečene gume. Do you still get harassed now? Mnogo manje nego ranije, ali da, još uvek prosto, prosto se sad, sada mogu da kažem da znam gde, gde mogu da prolazim i gde sam dobrodošla, u koji restoran, u koju knjižaru i na mesta gde prosto sam i dalje doživljena kao neko koji za niki koga treba zaklati, objesiti na banderu, silovati ili zaraziti koronom. The arrest of Anna Lalić was down to the fact that she spread fake news about whether there is a protective equipment in one of the clinical centers in Serbia or not. So you think her report was fake news? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, it was actually uh, denied by the clinical uh, center. Because between that emergency decree and her arrest, critics have said that during the pandemic, the Serbian government has eroded civil liberties and, and human rights, including freedom of the press. So how do you respond to that? You know, the decree was pulled after two days. And the whole idea about the decree was never to censor or control. Not only that I do not think that we in any way endangered the media freedom, I'm, I'm sure that uh, we did everything to the contrary, enabled um, full uh, access to all the information, responded to any questions, queries. The largely pro-government media environment has likely helped Vucic and Brnovic stay popular. And getting their hands on the vaccines was a win for them, their Chinese and Russian allies, and the Serbians getting vaccinated. We looked at it as a healthcare issue rather than a geopolitical issue. We continue to be EU accession country, uh, but we have always tried our best to uh, save and preserve partnerships with other uh, countries. E ponela sam ti uh, telefon je kod mene. Ne, na gde su nam na stranik? Ne, 
Do you come here every day? Every day. That's nice. Do you think that Russia or China are trying to win over Serbia or Serbian people through giving the vaccines? Zahvalni smo biti kini do... Mislim, ne znam da kažem dokle, do ja do kraja života, pa onda moja generacija do kraja života. Što se tiče Rusa, oni su nama bratski narod. Ali nisu u toj nekoj konstelaciji kao što smo sa kinezima. You think COVID's been made into a geopolitical issue? It is. It is. If you see the map for Middle East, for example, in Israel there is Pfizer, in Palestine there is Putin. Why? And in Serbia you in have Serbia, you have four. four. Yeah. What does that say about in Serbia? That we have a good politics thanks to the government of the president, and thanks to very deep connections with China. Finally, we are in the good way, you know. Tell me what happened when you got arrested last year. So, at the beginning of the epidemic of coronavirus in Serbia, I started to get information from my izvora i prijatelja i poznanika iz najveće vojvođanske bolnice u kojima su mi se žalili da nisu dovoljno opremljeni niti obučeni za rad sa COVID pacijentima. So you reported that story. Why did you get arrested? Ja sam objavila tekst o problemu sa kojim su se očili Uprkos tome što na sva moja pitanja koja sam slala zvanično bolnici, gde sam se raspitivala o tom problemu, nisam dobijala odgovor, ali priznajem da jesam bila iznenađena time da mi gomila policajaca uveče u devet uveče lupa na vrata i pretresa stan i u krajim slučaju odvodi me i hapse me i određuje mi da noćem u policiji. Prosto sada s ovog aspekta mogu reći da verujem da je to bila demonstracija, više demonstracija političke sile nego neka potreba zakonska da to se radi, ali jesam bila iznenađena i bila sam i uplašena, moram priznati. Why do you think the government put that rule into place when information is so important to the public? Ne smemo zaboraviti da u tom momentu Istovremeno, kada izbija pandemija koronavirusa u Srbiji, se vode i predizborna kampanja je u toku, odnosno nas. Da je vlast Srbije, kad je krenula u borbu protiv epidemije, krenula je ujedno i u borbu za političke glasove. I bilo je vrlo bitno iskoristiti taj moment da se prosto biračko telo pod strahom, pod tenzijom, pod jednom pretnjom ogromnog ogromne nepoznanice kakva je to u momentu koronavirus, da se prosto mobilizuje i da se na taj način obezbede i njihovi sigurni glasovi na predstojećim izborima. Ja jedino u tome vidim razlog, znači da je odnosno odluka je doneta isključivo ne zarad bezbednosti i zdravlja građana, nego isključivo zarad političkih motiva i u krajnjem slučaju glasova koji su na kraju i usledili.